Welcome to the Arduino tutorial on display counter using Arduino. In this tutorial, we will learn to connect an LCD and a push button to Arduino board and write a program to increase the count whenever the push button is pressed. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of electronics and basic knowledge of C or C++ programming language. To record this tutorial, I am using Arduino Uno board, Windows operating system and Arduino IDE. In an earlier tutorial, in this series, we had created a circuit using Arduino and LCD. We will use the same circuit in this tutorial. Here, we will add a push button and make a simple counter. We have already learned about the working of push button in an earlier tutorial. Now let us learn the connection circuit in detail. A push button is connected to a 100 ohm register. The push button is connected to pin number 7 and 100 ohm register is connected to the ground and other connections are exactly the same as in our previous experiment. This is live setup of the connection as shown in the circuit diagram. Now we will write a program in the Arduino IDE. So let's switch to the Arduino IDE. First we need to include the liquid crystal library. Type the code as shown. I have initialized a variable LCD of type liquid crystal here pin number 12 is initialized as register select and pin number 11 is enabled. The next for parameter represents the data line of LCD. In the void setup function type lcd.begin16,2. This command initializes the LCD with row and column. Next we will set up the pin number 7 as an input. Type the code as shown. In other way we can store the pin number in a variable p button. Let us define the p button variable as shown. Now we will write the program for void loop. Whenever the push button is pressed, one count is increased on the LCD. We will write a simple if statement to check whether the button is pressed or not. Before displaying the count, let us check the status of the button. This command will set the cursor position in the LCD and lcd.print will print the message. We will now compile and upload the code. Now I will press the push button. Here we see the message button pressed in the LCD. It shows the push button is working properly. Here I have made all the circuit connection as per the diagram. Now I will upload the first code where when I will press the key it will verify on the screen that key has been pressed. So let me upload the code. Now I have uploaded the code and I will press the key. Here it is the key. So let me press it. So now display indicates the button is pressed. That means the code is successfully uploaded. Now we will modify the program to set counter. We need a variable for a counter. Now we initialize the variable count to 0. Modify the print statement as shown here. Count plus plus will increase the count by 1 each time the button is pressed. Let us compile and upload the program. Now I will press the button. It didn't work as expected. We see a different count displayed here. Why this is so? This is because we specified the status for button pressed. But we didn't mention the status for button release. This output shows the incremented number based on the button press time. Now I have modified the code. We need a variable for a counter. So we have added counter to the zero. We have also modified the print statement with the count plus plus statement. So it will increase the count by one. So let me upload the code. So now let me press the key. Oh, so here as I press the key, I am not getting the expected output. We see some different count is displayed here. Why is this so? This is because we specified the status of button pressed, but we did not mention the status of button release. 
so the output shows the incremented number based on the number button pressed time you can see again i press the button for some time so it will define the time for which i press the button so i need to modify the code and i will add the while loop so we will write a while statement as shown here this will display the count when the push button is in press state that means the pin 7 is in high mode when you release the button the state is low and when it will become out of the while loop let me explain the program the program starts with the initialization of the lcd we have the variable p button and count inside the void setup function we have initialized the lcd with 16 column and 2 row the pin mode is input for the pin number 7 in the void loop function we are checking the condition whether the push button is high or not when the push button is pressed the cursor is set to a position 0 comma 0 the lcd dot print statement will print the count value initially count is 0 count plus plus would be 1 when the button is released it will break the while loop and come out of the loop again if we press the button the next iteration begin and it increases the count let us compile and upload the program now i will press the button once and release it again i will press and release the button you can see the count is increased whenever the button is pressed now i have added the while statement in the code this will display the count when the button is pressed that means the pin number 7 is at high mode so let us upload the code So now when I press the push button, this is first time, so it displays the 0. Now again I pressed it, it displays by 1, again I pressed, it displays by 2, again I press, displays by 3 and so on. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to connect an LCD and a push button to Arduino board, write a program to display the count whenever the push button is pressed. Do the following assignment, change the same program to display the count as 2, 4, 6 and so on. Compile and upload the program and observe the count display in the LCD. Now let me do the assignment. As per the assignment, change the same program to display the count as 2, 4, 6 and so on. So let me do the modification and then upload the code. Here the code is uploaded. Now let me press the key. Here I press the key 1. So it is 2. Again I press the key. Again. 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 Do you have any question in this tutorial? Please contact us through the given contact detail. Thank you.